There is so little information about Santorini's public buses and whenever you do find something it will always contradict the next piece of information you will find. So coming from a guy who actually takes those buses on a daily basis, this video will give you all the accurate and reliable information you need. Hey guys, welcome to Santorini Explained. My name is Sebastian, I'm a tour guide here in Santorini and today we're talking about bus lines and their timetables. Alright, first thing you should know is that there are no trams or subways in Santorini. Buses are the only available public transport. Those buses are actually coaches and they can be recognized by this sticker. They're very modern and comfortable and they all have AC. Alright, so let's have a look at the different bus lines. And before we dive into those, I want to mention that all the following information is from the 2021 season. If there are minor changes in the future, I will write them down in the description box below. If there are major changes, like for instance a new bus line or night buses, then I will make a brand new video about it and I will link it right here. So if you don't see anything right here, it means that the following information is still accurate. Now, very important, all the bus lines start and end in Fira, the capital. One bus line goes to Ia, Santorini's most famous village, with five stops on the way. One at the bottom of Imerovigli, one in front of Tasso's Tavern, one in front of Cavotagu, one in front of San Antonio Hotel, and one in Finichia village at the outskirts of Ia. There's one bus every 30 minutes and the ride also lasts 30 minutes. Mind that on the way back, the bus takes another road and doesn't make any stops. So if you're staying in Finichia and you want to go to Fira, you have to wait on the side of the road that goes to towards Ia, hop on the bus going to Ia, stay in that bus when it reaches Ia and then wait for this bus to get loaded with new passengers and drive to Fira. Okay, next line, Firo Stefani and Imerovigli. This line starts, like all the others, from Fira and stops in Imerovigli, then Firo Stefani and then back to Fira. That's one bus per hour and it takes around 15 minutes from Fira to Imerovigli. Every three buses of this line will also stop in Vurvulos before going to Imerovigli. So if you're staying in Vurvulos, then that's your bus line. But then again, if I were to stay in Vurvulos, I would rent a car, because one bus every three hours is not really useful. Next, we have the line going to Perisa. This line runs every 20 minutes and has many stops. It goes to Carterados, Mesaria, Vothonas, Pirgos, Santo Wines, Megalochori, Eborio, Perisa, and finally Perivolos. This line also goes to Vlihada village and its famous Moon Beach after Perivolos. But once again, that's only one bus every three hours. So same remark as for Vurvulos, if you're staying in Vlihada, don't really count on the public buses. All right, now pay attention because it gets tricky. Every other bus to Perisa is an express one. This means that it will only stop in Santo Wines, Megalochori, Emborio, Perisa and Perivolos, skipping Carterados, Mesaria, Vothonas and Pirgos. So if you're going to Perisa, definitely take the express one because it will only take 30 minutes from Fira instead of one hour for the regular line. The reason I said it's tricky is that on the official timetables you can't tell which are the express ones and which are the normal ones. And this right there is a very important concept to understand about the public buses of Santorini. What's on the paper usually applies, but there will be many exceptions based on the reality of the field. For instance, if you want to go to Pirgos and the Perisa Express bus is announced, even though in theory that bus should not stop in Pirgos, I would still advise you to go and ask if this bus stops in Pirgos, because if there are not many passengers on the bus, it's possible that the bus driver accepts to do one more stop because he has more time to play with. Now for this type of practical advice on how to navigate Santorini with buses, you can check out my other video I made on this topic, which I will link at the end of this video. Alright, next line is the Camari line. This one is pretty straightforward. It stops in Carterados, Mesaria, the Wine Museum, Exogonia, Mesagonia, the open air cinema of Camari. There's one bus every 30 minutes and the ride takes around 20 minutes. If you're staying in Exogonia or Mesagonia, Keep in mind that, sure, you have one bus every 30 minutes, but there's only one bus stop for each village located at the outskirts of the town, so chances are you're 20 minutes away on foot from that stop. Next, we have the Akrotiri bus line. There's only one bus per hour and it stops running at 9 p.m. while the other lines usually go up to midnight. It stops in Megalochori, 
Akrotiri village and the archaeological site of Akrotiri. And it takes around 30 minutes to go from Fira to Akrotiri. If you want to go to the Red Beach, you'll hop off at the bus stop of the archaeological site and it's a 10 minute walk from there. However, like I mentioned in some of my other videos, I would not recommend to be standing on the Red Beach because massive rock falls and landslides have happened and will happen in the coming decades and you do not want to be standing there when it happens. One more thing I want to mention about the Akrotiri bus line is that it's by far the most scenic ride you can get with a bus. The last five minutes before arriving in Akrotiri village offer insane panoramic views on the island and for that you want to be sitting at the window on the right hand side of the bus if you're going towards Akrotiri or the left side if you're leaving Akrotiri. Next we have the airport bus line. The first bus is around 6 a.m. and the last one around 10 p.m. and it's one bus per hour. On this way to the airport the bus stops in Carterados and Mesaria. Every other bus of this line continues to Monolithos after the airport. So once again Monolithos is one of these places that technically has a bus stop but you can't really use it. So if you want to stay by the beach like Monolithos is but you don't want to rent a car well then I would advise you to stay in Camari or Perisa instead of Monolithos. The last bus line is for the port, and when I say the port, I mean the ferry port, also called Athenios. There's another port called the Old Port, this one is only for the cruise ships and does not have road access, so no buses there. Now, the timetable for the Athenios line changes every day based on what ferries are coming. And that's a good thing because it means that for each ferry coming to Santorini, there will be buses taking you to it or from it. And this even in the middle of the night. You can find those timetables at the central station of Fira. They're usually handwritten and they're for the present day and the next day. Keep in mind though that even though this specific bus line operates also by night, that is not the case for all the other lines. So if you're arriving in Santorini at 2 a.m. Sure, you'll have a bus to go from the port to Fira, but if you're staying anywhere else than Fira, you won't have any bus to take you there. So, as a quick recap, I ranked all the main villages of Santorini in three categories. In the category Very Good, we have Ia, Finitia, Fira, Carterados, Mesaria, Camari, Megalochori, Emborio, and Perisa. In the category Decent but Not Great, we have Imerovili, Firo Stefani, Vothonas, Pirgos, Exogonia, Mesagonia, and Akrotiri. And under pretty bad, we have Vurvulos, Monolithos, and Vlihada. As far as timetables are concerned, well, you should know that they're changing from year to year. They're even changing from month to month. So there's no point for me to show you the timetables of this year. Your best option to find the updated timetables is to go on this link, which is the official website of the public buses of Santorini. No worries though, all these timetables are displayed at all the main bus stops in Santorini. So once you're here, you'll have all the information you need. A little word about the prices now. One bus ride will cost you anywhere between 160 to 220, depending on the line. There are no daily or weekly passes, so you will have to pay each ride separately. A ticket is only valid for one bus ride, so if you change lines, you'll have to buy another ticket. Oh, and remember, it's cash only. So, what do you think? Did you find this video useful? If you did, please make sure to hit the like button. If you want to know what tours I run here in Santorini, you can check out my Instagram page. And if you want to support this channel by doing a one-time donation, you can find the link in the description down below. Now, this video was all about the theory, but if you're planning on using those buses when you're here, there are still many things you should learn because the buses in Santorini have many unwritten rules, which if you don't know, you might never hop on any bus or once you're on the bus, you will go to the other side of the island without wanting to. So if you want to know all the practical tips when it comes to navigating Santorini by bus, you can check out this video right here. And in this one, I explain you whether or not renting a car is worth it in Santorini based on the type of holidays you have planned. All right, that's it for today. I hope you liked it. See you in the next one. Bye.